And Thasmeen, I know you spoke with a Turkish teacher who's a friend of yours who survived the uh, deadly quake, and you're very familiar with that country and that part of the country as well. Yeah, so I volunteered as an English school teacher 11 years ago in Iskenderun, and today I spoke to my friend who's also a teacher, Hatice Maidan. She, her daughter, and her husband, they survived that deadly earthquake. She tells me that they were some of the lucky ones, but the trauma is unforgettable. Take a listen. I couldn't disguise this from my daughter because she uh, saw everything. She saw the racket, she saw the rubble, and she saw the crying people because uh, we lost many people. Uh, most of my friends died, and some of my students passed away with their families under the wreckage. And uh, she's always shaking, trembling. She's in another room now with uh, her uh, dad. But at night, she cannot sleep. Even if she sleeps, she wakes up suddenly and she says, Mommy, did you hear the, no, the sound again? Uh, is it shaking again? I say, no, 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 no panic. Uh, and she is going to toilet with me. Uh, she cannot stay alone. Uh, we are so lucky she didn't die, I didn't die, my husband, my mom, dad, brothers didn't die. Thanks God, we are alive, uh, but it's really hard to live uh, these, it's really hard. Really some tough words to listen to. So Hatice tells me that her region in Hatay needs more help, that locals and even children, they're just using their bare hands and a bucket to remove the debris, all in hopes of finding any survivors their friends and loved ones within that rubble.